Our native son, President Harry Truman said, progress occurs when courageous, skilled leaders seize the opportunity to change things for the better. Each of us are now the torchbearers for the next chapter in the city's great history. The completion of the city's first tourism master plan, the development of the fire department's community risk assessment to guide the remodeling or renovation of our existing stations, and a $12 million investment in our police technology, including the long desired implementation of body-worn cameras, I stated the urgency to address the needs of the unhoused in our city as a moral imperative. The Rotary Club of Independence is supporting Community Services League and the Good Shepherd Community of Christ Church in their partnership to create a drop-in center. In 2020, Blue Springs, Independence, and Lee Summit partnered with Comprehensive Mental Health Services and Rediscover. The partnership embeds mental health clinicians, known as co-responders, within the three police departments to respond with law enforcement on calls for service. In the most recent quarter, 127 people were assessed on scene by a co-responder, and all assessments resulted in referrals for behavioral health care. Additionally, the city's Alternative Response for Community Health Program, or ARCH, continues to make a positive impact. ARCH staff represent a multi-department team that work daily alongside first responders to provide focused and immediate resources for those dealing with challenges such as houselessness, chronic medical and substance abuse issues, and other quality of life concerns. And finally, in 2023, we launched Independence Together, assisting residents who are experiencing unstable housing and community beautification. Second, I shared the need to determine the future of the electric utility. Council furthered that process in November when they authorized an agreement with a firm to conduct two independent studies. One study will develop a 20-year strategic plan and assume continued public ownership, while the other study will provide a cost-benefit analysis of privatizing the electric utility. This is a decision that will be made entirely by the community. Third, I mentioned that we have to get serious about stabilizing the city finances. We've reduced the total number of tax increment finance projects by 44%. This means increased revenues for our partners like the school districts and the Mid-Continent Public Library. Ten years ago, the city had $3.7 million in general fund reserves. This year, we're on track to finish with $13.3 million despite economic volatility. Applications for new business licenses and business license renewals increased in 2023. In the face of significant inflation, I'm also pleased to report that the city realized a 66% increase in permits for new single family home construction in 2023. There are now 1,243 class A market rate apartments either newly finished or set for construction in Independence. DPAC and the Cargo Largo family opened its 500,000 square foot facility and now employs 500 people in Independence. We demolished the old Kmart building and we're working toward redevelopment of that property. The Hub Shopping Center located at 23rd Street and Hub Drive near 291 was approved for a $36 million redevelopment project aimed at modernizing the Grocery Anchored Shopping Center. The announcement of Google Fiber, the impending completion of the East Independence Library, and the groundbreaking of the Square Streetscape and Truman Connected projects provide the amenities needed to attract additional growth for our community. The city has seen an annual growth rate of 4.2% in the economy since October. The use tax has collected more than 45% in new revenue since last year. It is estimated that the first 12 months of collections will result in $1 million annually in the marijuana sales tax fund. Party on, Independence. Significant change is underway in our community because of the collaborative, positive, and futuristic leadership between City Hall and the business and civic community. While there surely won't always be universal agreement about how we achieve our goals, I'm confident that we possess a shared vision as to what those goals are. Thank you.